Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at a bit of a different CPU cooler, the Cryoric C1. It currently costs around 65 to 70 US dollars, which isn't exactly the cheapest cooler, but it certainly could be the ideal solution for high-end ITX systems. Thanks a lot to Cryoric for sending me this cooler and making this review possible. <music> All right, in the box, of course, is the heatsink itself, the Slim XT140 140mm fan, then all the back plates, brackets, screws, and so on. Also included a tube of thermal paste, a nice angled screwdriver, an alcohol pad, the product registration card, and a little reminder how to not tighten the spring screws. And last but not least, the installation guide. The Cryorx C1 is a fairly special cooler, I'd say, but certainly not the only top-down cooler in the market. In terms of aesthetics, not bad looking at all. Really looks fresh and modern, probably because of the white accents. The dimensions are the following. Length 144.5mm, width 140 and height 74mm. So that's definitely a very short CPU cooler, which is just perfect for mini ITEX systems. With the fan screwed onto the heatsink, the cooler weighs 628 grams. First of all, I gotta say, that's a very interesting design here, basically to save as much space as possible, especially height. Despite the small size, we still get a lot of aluminum here. The C1 is equipped with a total of 6 heat pipes, and these are U-type heat pipes that spread heat in two directions simultaneously. That should result in better cooling performance. The C1 comes with a nickel-plated copper base and supports the following sockets. Intel's LJ2011, 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366, 775, and AMD's AIM3 Plus slash AIM3, AIM2 Plus slash AIM2, FM2 Plus slash FM2, and FM1. Included is the XT140 140mm fan, which is just 13mm high, making this a super slim fan. The rated speed is at about 700 to 1300 RPM, the noise level 20 to 24 decibels, and as for airflow, 65 CFM. So the fan doesn't seem to be bad at all. It features a 4 pin connection, by the way. I find it very kind of cryoric to also include longer screws for more standard fans that usually are about 25mm high, just in case you decide to go for a different one here than the included one. The installation of this cooler is very simple and straightforward. As you can see here, we have two holes to fasten the screws below with the included screwdriver. That's a great design. The installation into my system was dead easy. No complications whatsoever, as we're pretty much used to see from Cryoric anyways. Of course, it's a bit weird having such a CPU cooler installed in a super tower case such as my Corsair 900D, but combined with my MSI Z97X Power AC and GTX 770 Lightning, not even bad looking. But such a cooler is meant for ITX systems with mild overclocks. Unfortunately, as with many air coolers, two of my high-profile memory modules had to be taken out. Low-profile should be fine though. Still, these are the results I've got with my system. The Cryorx C1 definitely struggles cooling my hot overclocked Intel i7 4770K down, but in the C1's defense, it isn't really made for overclocking. Again, it's meant for small, small ITX systems, maybe with very light overclocking or even a cooler running CPU than mine here, and the system should remain quiet. And trust me, it's super quiet, that's great for an ITX build. Price performance wise for $65 to $70, this cooler is a bit pricey, but then again, you pay a lot for the sophisticated design for small form factors. Unfortunately, even this C1 still interferes with high profile memory, but then again, for an ITX build, you'd be using low profile memory most of the time anyways, and that wouldn't cause any interference issues. By no means would I really recommend this cooler for standard ATX systems. There are much, much better coolers on the market than this one for that purpose. Despite the higher pricing, I'd still recommend the Cryorx C1 CPU cooler for ITX systems. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit nicholas 11 x 12 to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.